In the last video, I explained the basics of using this Maha Energy PowerWorks MHC9000 battery analyzer. This is a great tool for working with uh, NICAD and nickel metal hydride rechargeable cells. By design, it only accepts AA and AAA size cells. But you'll notice that the circuitry can handle much higher charge and discharge rates than you would ever use for AA and AAA cells. For instance, if I go to charge, I can run this all the way up to 2000 milliamps or 2 amps. With currents like that, I could easily charge C and D cells if they would fit in this case. Since they don't, I built this handy little adapter. This is just a very simple adapter that I built using a piece of plywood, some dowels, lamp cord, hookup wire, and a couple of battery holders and a couple screws. So what this does, these devices here, this is just a simple hardware store dowel with a couple of uh, junk box screws in it that is designed to be roughly the same diameter and same height as a AA cell. Over here, the battery holders are designed to accept two C cells or two D cell batteries. These are very nice Keystone Electronics. This is an up Keystone 176 and a Keystone 174 dual D and dual C battery holder. I love these Keystone holders. Very nice, very well built. When they came originally, uh, here's an example. They had these, uh, these metal springs that help hold the battery in place. In this case, I just drilled out those rivets and took those springs off and I screwed the holders right directly to this piece of scrap plywood. So now I can very simply just insert two C cells and or two Ds. You don't want to use both Cs and Ds at once because I have them wired in, in uh, parallel. Two Cs or two Ds and just the spring force of these holders is enough to hold those batteries in place. Then this whole device just clips in. Make sure I got that on camera. This just clips in in place of those AA cells right there. So the way I've built this device, I can still charge two AA's or AAA's over on this side, and I can charge two C's or two D's over on the adapter. Charging C's and D's in here is just the same as charging AA's and AAA's. Just put the battery in the holder. The analyzer automatically detects that a battery has been inserted. And you can select the appropriate mode, select your charge, discharge currents, and hit enter. It's that simple. The only problem with this adapter that some might have is with the extra length of wire between the analyzer and the cell that's uh, being charged or discharged, with, there's, there can be a bit of a voltage drop in these wires. The, the cell is still charged and discharged pretty well, but because of that extra voltage drop, the capacity that this device displays will not be entirely accurate. So you can't rely on this to show precise capacity for C's and D's using this adapter, because they'll be off just a little bit. But it'll be close, and for my purposes, for the average hobbyist or amateur radio operator, it'll be close enough. If you want to be scientific about it, uh, this battery is, has high impedance because it's fully charged. But if you want to be scientific about it, let's discharge this cell and measure the voltage drop. And this will depend on current, of course. So let's put one amp discharge current across that cell and we'll measure the voltage drop. So I have my cell being discharged at one amp in this device at the far edge of my adapter of my trusty Fluke 27 voltmeter. This is hard to do with the camera in the way, but let's see if I can get a good connection at the base of this cell and at the charging contact. We have a voltage drop across that wire of 0 0.02 volts. Multiply that by two for a, a round trip circuit, and you have a voltage drop of 0 0.04 volts. That's negligible in my opinion, but it will cause the voltage detector in this circuit to 
cut out a little bit sooner than it would otherwise. It's fine on charging because the delta V charge circuit is not affected, but this will think the battery is at, is at 0.9 volts a little sooner than it actually is. Uh, not a big deal, not a big difference. It's just something to consider if you need really accurate capacity measurements with this adapter. So aside from that little bit of voltage drop, I think this adapter is a good way to charge and discharge C and, and D size cells with the PowerWorks battery analyzer. Hope you enjoyed.